What is up guys, I'm back with a brand new video and in today's video we're going to be opening a Pokemon TCG Pikachu V-Box case, alrighty. And two of the packs will be going to Garrett and Gabriella in, uh, what was it, North Carolina? Yep. Yeah, so we're going to open this, show you all what's in it, and then I'll get the packs out and two of them will be going to those two, okay. Right off the bat. Here we are. We have six of these. Comes with a Pikachu promo, uh, oversized card, and four packs. There's the back. Alrighty, let's get everything. Alrighty guys, we have opened all the boxes and there is a Pikachu promo for Garrett and then there's a Pikachu promo and Jumbo promo for Gabriel. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna stack these up, give them a little shuffle, and then they have both picked a number, so we will go through these and pull out the, the respective number with packs like if it was two we'll pick out pack two and open that for them there is most likely a case hit because this is a case so let's see if there's anything good so, all right you shuffle them up and then cut them and i will tell you what numbers they have picked so we're going to shuffle them up this is a closely held secret only i know it uh-huh All right. Okay. I'm gonna cut them. Cut them. Now the way these are numbered, tell me when you're done. All right. They are from top down. The top one is number one. So what I'd like for you to do is get me pack number 15. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, pack 15, Charizard. All right, that goes to Garrett. So what we're going to do is put that up there. There's Garrett. All right, now Gabrielle picked number 19. So that was 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Another Charizard. Nice. So are we going to open these last or are we going to open them first? You know, I think it'd probably be better if we made them wait. What do you think? That sounds good to me. All right, well, let's get into it. I will turn it over to you, Josh. Uh-huh. So let's put the packs right there and start off with a shiny Drake cloak. We are still on the search for that shiny ditto of some sort. But, hey, any shiny V card is good in my book. We have a Psychic Energy, Gym Trainer, Luxio, Tropius, Hufont, Rowlet, Gossiflower, Coffin, Morpico, Zarude, and we have a Galarian Wheezing Holographic. Okay, nothing in that one, but I guess that is, that's all right. I think, like I said in one of my previous videos, uh, the first thing I notice when opening anything up is that the packs feel, all the sets feel different, and these specifically feel different than the ones that are in the tens, if that makes any sense. These feel more like XY era packs with how soft the plastic felt to tear into. It's a very weird observation, but something I've noticed. Nicket, uh, Luxray, and a Celebi non-holographic. I thought there was something there, but I guess not. There was the holographic, or the reverse. It's messing me up. Yeah, there's something with these. These packs are weird. One, two, three, four to the front. All right, fire energy, rusted sword. So there's been three duds. There's a holographic, but I don't think it'll count that as a hit. We are overdue for something, and I see something in the back. We have Whoa! a shiny Ditto V. Just what I've been wanting. Look that at that. One? That there's the V Max, but I will take it. Nice. I'm gonna have to trade you for this one, but I hear you. Oh, that's a nice looking card. Let's put that right up there and move on to a Charizard. So from what I found, it's usually, uh, what was it? It's one in three or one in four to get a shiny of some sorts, but I have not pulled enough of those to come to a conclusion. I'm thinking it's like one in 20 or something from how few I've pulled, but maybe if I open more the odds, will start evening out. We have a Yanma. Horsey, Shinx, and a shiny Zigzagoon. So what was that, pack three? 
exactly on the nose. And we have a ditto VMAX. I was about to say shiny, but hey, we'll take it. Regular VMAX, that's just okay. The ditto is a very playful card in the game because it has max transform. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon in the attacks and use that attack. So if they got an attack that does 300 damage for three energy, you can just use the attack. That is awesome. No wonder the card is really sought after in its shiny form. I just want it because it looks cool. No way I would ever put that card in a deck. <laughs> One, two, three, four to the front. Or I want to put the shiny in a deck. I definitely put the VMAX in the deck. Rusted Shield, Rotom, Nicket, Trap Inch, Snom, Gossiflower, Cacnea, Dreadnought, and a Holographic Luxray. So another hollow, but that is fine. What are we doing here? We need to have. There's not enough room, so let's put Ditto on the side and put that there. Actually, I'll take these, move them down there, and put that there. There we go. That works just fine. One, two, three, four to the front. And we have a Metal Energy, Ball Guy, Tropius, Floatzel, Bweasel, Nicket, Trap Inch, Snom, Gossiflower, another Gossiflower, and we have another Luxray. What is up with these? So far, not. I feel like I'm getting all the duds because from what I have seen, Pikachu V boxes on their own usually have some good stuff. But this it's like one, the odds for Garrett and Gabriel keep going up. Yeah, they. I keep thinning out the herd. So. If there's like a hit rate of three out of four, then I'm putting all the duds at a, all the six boxes. Shootle, Morpico, Eevee, Grookey, Ball Guy, and we have a Poke Kid full art. Nice. Look at that. Well, uh, there's a little bit of dirt, but that uh, that came right off. So let's sleeve it up and keep on rolling. That's really good because full normally full arts and normal sets they're really rare, but. The odds for this set seem very high, for whatever reason. Very odd. Maybe it's just because there's so much just junk in the set. Like there's a hundred shinies. There's like 80 regulars and then a hundred of the full arts, so they had to increase the pull rates a little bit. Luxio, Eldegoss, because with normal pull rates, you'd get one of those in like every 15 packs or so. So yeah, they're not too good. We have a Choodle. Gossip Flower and it's Charizard V Max. Look at that. Uh, Dreadnought, put that down and we will sleeve it right up. I, t I knew there was one in here. I Look at that. that I'll, I'll just hand this on off. Have have you look at that? Because yeah, that's going in the PSA order. That is definitely going in the PSA. That gotta go, that's got to go in two different ones because I also pulled one. Yeah, but. Look at that. Want some heat? I've I've seen somewhere that... You know that's the fourth Charizard you pulled, right? That is the fourth, like... Was there a code card? That was like the fourth big Charizard I pulled, yeah. One, two, three, four, to the front. I pulled the, uh... The rainbow out of one of his trainer boxes from Champion's Path, and then I pulled the, the shiny out of one of mine. I pulled that one today, and then another one yesterday. It's crazy. We have a more Pico... Grookey, Horsey. Sorry, Gary. Coffin, Gabriel. Hi. Volcanion. Hey, there might be another one. There could be. There, there could still be another one. There could be, but hopefully you're not. I'm not boring. <laughs> I knew there was something in there because yeah, yeah, I saw yeah, it. Yeah. I thought it was like a full art or something, but I don't know because whenever you open up a pack, it's like skewed sometimes. So I didn't really know. We have an Energy, Eldegoss, Dartrix. Rusted Shield, Coffin, Shinx, Bweasel, Nicket, Trap Inch, Frost Moth, and a Hollow Frost Moth. We love to see it. That's half a playset right there. Here we have a Shiny Toxtricity Pack. So, what do you think about this case? I'm feeling it. You're feeling it? It was a good decision. It was a good. <laughs> Yeah, this set is, like, too good to hold, isn't it? Oh, we're going to hold some. 
we're gonna hold some, but in the for the long term, but in the short term, oh my goodness. That's a good set. Coffee and Trap Pinch Shinks. We have a Dartrix and a Volcanion. Dogs are barking. Maybe that's good luck. Hey, hey I don't know. I, I'm they can bark. Free dogs in America. Free dogs in America. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, a Charizard. Oh my goodness. We have a Fire Energy. Let's put that on Charizard. Maybe no! Give us some good luck. We have a Gym Trainer, Luxio, Tropius, Buizel, Grookey, Qfont, Snom, Yanma, Rillaboom, and a Dreadnought. So, so far, our odds have not been too good for the regular Shinies, so maybe, maybe I'm just pulling all the duds because there just hasn't been... I opened up a whole case of tins, not trying to, I have a whole uh, video series of that coming up, and I got just non-stop shiny luck, but so far there haven't been too many shinies, very odd. Cacnea, Morpeko, Snom, Horsey, Nicket, we have a shiny Surfetched, okay, so there's a shiny, I summoned it by complaining, how about that? And we have a Dreadnought, regular rare. Let's sleeve this up, and we will put it on top of our Galarian Zigzagoon. Right there. Let's open this one up. Fun fact about, er, recently I have started a playthrough of Pokemon Y version, okay, on 3DS. And my, I'll just go through it. My very, like, I would like to say my second encounter was a shiny Zigzagoon. Not the Galarian, just the regular, but... There's an Eldegoss shiny, so it looks like our luck is catching up, and we have a Yanma, regular rare. Let's go through that, yeah. I didn't do the card trick because I had already seen something, or I already messed it up in some form. Here we have a Toxtricity. You taking notes about oh, my- Oh, I'm pretty happy. My professional observations I'm having here. No, One, I- One, two, three, four. You can do good. Okay. We have a Leaf Energy, Eldegoss, Team Yell Towel, Rusted Shield, Trap Inch, Rowlet, Nicket, Shinx, Cacnea, Yanma, and we have a Dreadnought. Alrighty, Corviknight Pack Art. Oh, that was a little rough. Here we have a Dark Energy, Rotom, Gym Trainer, Tropius, Nicket, Buizel, Morpeko, EP, Rowlet. We have a Reverse Gym Trainer and a Professor's Research. Alrighty. We have a Corviknight Pack Art. Maybe, maybe this Charizard was the, uh, we cut, they cut our rates in half, you know? They're like, hey, you got a Charizard. No more pulls. I don't know that it works that way. Uh, I don't know either, but these are kind of... Hey, it's... From... Hey, all that means is better luck for old Garrett and Gabriel. Yeah. Yeah, I've opened up a few of these, and these are, seem to be the lowest in the batch I've opened so far. Shinx. We have something in the back. We have a Rainbow Al Creamy VMAX. All right. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about this card, but it's always nice to see the rainbow. This is the only one in the set, and it's the third time I've pulled it. Cha ching So I don't know what that means for this card. It's probably a real common card. Let's set that there, and put up Charizard. Okay. First time uh, he saw it was, he thought it was the Colossal. A rainbow colossal from just you can't make out what it is at first glance, you know. It looks like pancakes. It looks like pancakes. That's not what I think I heard you say. This is a family show. <laughs> More Peko, Yanma, Horsey. We have a Celebi and a Zarude. Okay, how many packs? We have one more box left worth of packs, so let's see if our pulls will increase a little bit. I don't like how they made these, the uh, the solid, or the, the white and green code cards, because they, uh, 
They usually mean you get a hit, but some of these packs, there's no hit, so maybe they did it because they didn't feel like printing any of the green ones, but it just seems odd. Maybe they're doing a good away with them. I don't know. Shinx. We have a Tropius and a Dreadnought Regular Rare. Yeah, they've definitely done away with the solid green code cards. Which is weird because the solid green ones are heavier. They're there to offset any sort of... Uh, like the shiny cardboard, that's usually just a little bit heavier than regular. So the gr solid green code card will be just a little bit heavier to emulate one of those. So you can't just weigh packs, you know? He doesn't believe me, though. Yeah, it's, uh, it's urban legend. Shrapinch, Yanma, Weasel, Professor's Research, and a Volcanion regular rare. On to the first to the last pack before I open the two packs for Garrett and Gabriel. So I'm going to start straightening this up just a little bit so we don't have to uh, one, two, three, four. cut to another scene. We do one shot. We have a Grass Energy, Rotom, Gym Trainer, Tropius, Morpeko, I lost my train of thought there, Grookey, Snom, Spidrak, Thweevil, and a Dreadnought Regular Rare. This Thweevil is very off-center. Look at that. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Keep going. Very unfortunate. Okay, let's get into this one. There is definitely something in this one. One, two, three, four to the front. I saw the side. There was definitely a hit in here. wonder what it is. Luxio, Floatzel, Team Yeltowl, Horsey, Cacnea, Morpico, Choodle, Gossiflor, another Choodle, and we have a Delmize V. Not the hit we were looking for, but the hit we got. The one we got. The one we got. Oops. All right, let me move these out of the way. That is the first regular rare V. So, okay, you're up to uh, Garrett and Gabriel. All righty, the, the, big, the big show has finally arrived. Here is Garrett's pack. What I will do for this one is... Don't show him the cards. Well, they're all white cards. I done made that very clear. Yeah. So let's get rid of the code card. Let's go one, two, three, four to the front. All right, just go, let's go. Let's pull some heat, Garrett. We have an electric energy. Rotom, look at that, it's reading a book. Rusted Sword, Grookey, or no, it's the Wacky. Snom, Trapinch, Buizel, Rowlet, Spidrack, a reverse Team Yeltowl, and a Yan Mega. Yeah, no. All right, Garrett. All right. Hey, that's all right. That's all right. Okay, well, we'll put those cards aside for you, and here it is, Gab Gabriella. I keep getting your name wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, Shiny Fates pack, just like Garrett's. Let's see what's inside this one. So we'll take this off. Get the code card out of here. One, two, three, four to the front. All right, good luck. Now here are the last two cards. They look pretty good on the back, centering wise. So this will be your shiny and this will be the V if there is one. So these cards look in great condition. Good luck. We have a Grass Energy, Rusted Sword, Rotom, Dartrix. This is like, a, this is an identical pack to the last one. Morpico, Rowlet, Horsey, Snom, a Dartrix, and for the last card of the opening, we have a Rillaboom Ooh, Holographic. Nice, nice, that'll oh. work. So nothing shiny, but hey. All right, guys, there you go. Congratulations, and we'll get those off to you here real soon. All right, here you go. Here, set them up here, and then, uh, there you go. All righty, guys, so here's the recap. We have a Delmize V. Galarian Zigzagoon Shiny. You can tell it's shiny because it's all sparkly. A Galarian Surfetched. We have an Eldegoss, a Poke Kid, an Al Creamy VMAX, a very cool looking rainbow. And we have a Ditto VMAX, but you can't play a Ditto VMAX without a Ditto V. We have it in its shiny form. And last but not least, we pulled a Charizard VMAX. How about that? Awesome.